In the previous lesson, for which I'm going to put a link in the description, we looked at the basics of data validation. In this lesson, we're going to look at more advanced scenarios using custom data validation. So under data, if you click here, you have custom data validation using a formula. So let's start. And by the way, any formula you will see here in this video, I'm going to put a link in the description. So if you don't know it, you can check it out. My first scenario is I want one letter and then four numbers. So for example, I can have P1234. So let's write it. If I want to validate this and I want to validate each element on its own using formulas, let's look how to do it. So the first thing we need to do is that we have one letter and four numbers, so five characters. So we want lens of five. How do we check this? Well, there is a formula called len. If you select the cell, you press enter, you get the number of characters in a text string. If you do equal five, it gives you true. If you add a letter or a number, you get false. So this is our first formula. The second thing I need to check is that the last four are a number. So to get the last four characters in a text, you need to use a formula called write. So last four are number. So if you do write, you select your text, comma, and then you do four, you close the parentheses, you get one, two, three, four. There is a formula called is number that checks if what you have is a number. Unfortunately, if you put this formula like this, it's not going to work. So it gave me false, although 1, 2, 3, 4 is a number. Why is that? If you select this and do F9, you can see that 1, 2, 3, 4 is actually in double quotation. So let's press escape. To change this, there are several ways. The one I like the most is to use a formula called value. So value will transform this into a number if it's a number. You could multiply it by one, you could do many things. But if we do this, you can see that I get true. But if I change this to R, you get false. So let's do Ctrl Z and look at our last condition, which is my first letter is P. So it's any letter and not a number. So here you can see I have a formula. I can just copy paste it. So I go into the formula bar. I do Ctrl C, then escape. Then I come here or I can come to the formula bar. I paste it. Let's do first is letter and let's modify it. So here I took the last four letters. To take the first letter, you do left, the opposite of this one. And you do one because you want one character. Now if I do this, you can see that I got false. Why is it false? Because it's not a number, right? So what I need to do is I need to add a not formula to change this to a true. So for example, here you had the P. If I change it to a number one, you see you get it false. So basically, this formula is doing exact opposite of this one. This is why we have the not in front of it. Next, we need to combine those three formulas with a formula called AND. So AND is a formula that will check several conditions. If all of them are true, it will return true. If at least one is false, it is false. So what's the best way to do this? Well, I can go to home. I can click on this arrow and I get my clipboard. So if I clear everything on my clipboard, I can start adding things to it. So I go here, I do Ctrl C, I get it on my clipboard, then escape. Then I go to my second formula, Ctrl C, escape. And notice I'm not taking the equal. Then the last formula, Ctrl C, escape. And all of them are here. Now, if I do here equal and, and I take my first formula by clicking on it, comma, second formula, comma, third formula, close the parentheses, enter. So as you can see, all of them are true. I get a true. If I add a letter or a number, I get false because at least one condition is false. So let's do Ctrl Z. Let's copy our formula. This time we take the equal. We do Ctrl C. 
we can close the clipboard, we do escape, we go to the place where we want to apply the validation, which is here, we do data, validation, custom, and then we paste the formula. So if I do, for example, P12345, I get an error. If, for example, the first one is 1, I get an error. If I retry and put, for example, now M, it will work. So this is the first one. Let's look at the second case. In the second case, I want IT and then I want four numbers. So how do I do this? So let's put an example here, IT1234, and let's copy paste what we have up and see what we can use and what we can't use. The length now is not five, it's six, right? Because I have IT and then four numbers. So I'm gonna change this to six and this is done. The second thing, I need four numbers. So the last four numbers is actually a number. This I can use the same formula. I just dragged it, so it's fine. And then here, the first character is a letter. This is wrong. I want the first two characters are IT. So how to change this? I can do equal left. I take the text two is equal to double quotation IT. So now I've set it to IT and I get it true. So again, now if I change this, I put PL, you see you get a false. So let's do control Z and let's combine them quickly the same way. Home, clipboard, clear all, we start, control C, escape. We take the second formula, control C, escape third formula, control C, escape. And then here we combine them with an end. And we click on the first one, comma, second one, comma, third one, close parenthesis, enter. We just take all this, control C, escape. We close the clipboard. We go to where we want to do our validation, data, data validation, custom, paste the formula, equal, and then if we do, for example, IL2345, it's not going to work, but IT2345 will work. If I change the 5 to R, it won't work, and so on. Now let's look at the last one. The last one is exactly the same as the second one, but the first two letters could be anything, but they have to be letters, not numbers. So let's copy-paste what we have here, and let's put an example, PM1234. And let's see, length is six, yes, because I have four numbers, two letters, six. Last four are numbers, yes, same condition. Now the first two characters are IT, no, are letters. Now if I go here and I select this one where the first was a letter, let's just put it here. And if I change this to two, because there I selected one letter, I select two now. Will this work? Now it looks like it worked, but here is the problem. If I do instead of PM, I do P2, I still get a true. So that doesn't work. How do we fix this? So very simple. We keep this for one letter, the first one. It has to be a letter. What I want to do is I want to check if the second character is a letter. So how do we do this? We can copy this, paste it here. We say enter, and then we change. Here, everything is the same, but this left is not what I want. So I remove it. Instead of left, there is a function called mid. So mid, you need a text, comma, you need a start number. So which character do I want to start with? The second character, right? So two. And how many characters do I need to take? I need to take one character because I need just the second character. So I do this, I close the parenthesis, I say enter, and as you can see, this gives me false. Why? Because this is not a letter. If I put PM, this becomes true. So this is how it works. So basically here, we used the same we've been using with left to take the first character. Here, we just take mid, 
we take the second character and we only take one character because if you do mid for example five it can pick up five characters from your text now we can combine them into an end so same technique we go to home first i'm going to clean it to make it easy for you so we select we do ctrl c we have this one escape we do ctrl c escape ctrl c escape and here we have a force condition and escape and we combine them equal and open bracket or open parenthesis first one comma second one comma third one comma fourth one close parenthesis it looks huge but once you do step by step it's gonna be okay i copied this escape close this i select the cell i go to data data validation custom paste and we are okay so now for example if i do p4 here it's not gonna work i have to have two letters so let's do those two letters and then one two three four and it works so i hope you enjoyed this lesson if you have other scenarios that are different than this one please write them in the comments i might be able to solve them or make other videos to give a solution for your issues.